Oh, hi there. Welcome to BSF Recovery Team. Uh, today we're on a mission. Uh, we got this from uh, Matt's Off-Road Recovery, and uh, we got to watch it to see what it's about. I think it's about the off-road games. Anyway, we got to uh, find a VCR. We're going to Walmart, pick up some other things. We'll look there. Well, we're at Walmart. Let's go see what they have. Computers. Printers. Monitors, TVs. Lights, games. They got DVD players. DVD. Blu-ray player. Oh. DVD player. DVD player. DVD player. Hmm. Nothing. Well, no luck there. Maybe the restore has something. Well, they're closed. Well, let's try the thrift store. Well, the thrift store didn't have any either. Hey, look. Jeans at Uncle Donuts. Go figure. Hey, Gene. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I am well. Pretty come, cool. I've been taking nourishment. Come to get your morning donut? Morning donut, yeah. They'll, they'll, even, <laughs> they'll even agree with you on that yeah. one. <laughs> so, what's so, up? Well, we're looking for a VCR. You are? Yes, and we're not having much luck. I think I can check at home. I may have... Uh, I may have something that would work out. You I, think you have one? Yeah, I think we got one that's a combo platter, a DVD and VCR. Okay. Kind of planned obsolescence. So. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get that. Okay. I will. Uh, I will go home and get that. Uh, what the hell do you need it for? Well, Matt sent me a VCR tape. Yeah. I think it has to do with the off-road games, but yeah. I'm not sure. Well, I hope Gene comes through with a VCR. He wants what? A VCR? Holy moly. Look at that. I found it in the station here. But look at what I found here. Let's bring both of them. I'd really like to see what's on that tape. Yep. Who uses tapes anymore, huh? I don't know. I remember when we used to have like two VHS uh, stores in town where you could rent a VCR and watch movies. Yeah. That was a long time ago. I know. <laughs> it was Blockbuster and Mr. Video. Yeah. What are you two talking about? Oh, we're talking about uh, VHS tapes. These. <laughs> I don't think they were popular until the late 70s or early 80s. Yeah, I remember watching them on VHS at my grandma's. I have lots of video that was produced on those. Well, we're just waiting for Gene to show up with a VCR so we can see if we can watch this tape from Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Well, what shirt is that? Oh, this shirt? Yeah. This is one of my Blondie shirts that I'm trying to decide what I want to put in production. Oh. I have another one with my truck just on it, and it says Blondie, Blondie, with just my truck. Oh, so, and you're trying to decide which one to... Yeah, I like them both. Yeah, I do too. So, yeah, it's my new shirt for my truck. Uh-huh. We'll tell you more about the Blondie shirts later. So, Gene, you got us a VCR? Uh, actually, I got a little bit more than that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got a VCR DVD combo platter. Okay. And the things I scrounged from Amory and Chevrolet, I found a VCR and TV. Oh, wow. Let's find some power for it. Power. Oh, I hope it didn't eat the tape. I hope it didn't either.
You can see it in there? There we go. <laughs> oh, the old 1980s finger in the hole. Reel it in. Push the button in. There you go. So be kind, please rewind. <laughs> Why does that turn off when you load a tape? We need an old tape to test with. Keep TV set to channel three. I'm assuming it's on channel three. I think so. Don't do it again. Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to break it. <laughs> well, we got to watch it. And yellow and white. There's yellow and white in the back screen, too. the tape. <laughs> <laughs> There's that to DVD and that's to VCR. What's it doing? That's a good question. Uh-oh. Not good. Let's take the cover off. Okay. Well, it ain't the tape. And you are getting that out without taking it apart. Push the little square on the side. We got to get some air to blow this out. Well, I don't think that one's ever going to work. Well, it's obvious this ain't going to work. So it's the next day. And we think we found a VCR on TV that worked. Jeremy was uh, kind enough to steal it from his mother-in-law, and they were using it on Friday. So hopefully everything works. Well, I'm the old guy around here, and I've done this before. It's real easy. Yellow goes to yellow, if I can plug it in. White goes to white. And red goes to red. And after that, Eric, you get the honors. Chris, how do you turn it on? I, I, there it, is this literally button. came out of our basement. Oh, there's a power right there. So. There is no remote either. So it's, there's a remote there for the TV, but not for the VCR. Uh -oh. Does it plug in? Yeah. The lights are on? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. It go. took a while to light up. Okay. It makes noises like it's supposed to. So let's rewind it first. Wow, this old technology is really confusing. <laughs> we need somebody's grandmother to come over. Instead of the grandmother hey. saying, I need the grandkids to come show me how to use my phone, we need their grandmother to come show us how to work. Is it saying playing down there? 
No. Okay, well, this isn't working either. Oh, I was informed that this worked when parked. Oh, one of those deals. Yes. Oh, there it is. I got it. Your off-road rig and your new teammate in March. Teammate will be disclosed at a later date in the future, and I will not accept any sort of bribery to get you with a professional teammate. Okay. Now, let's see if we can play the whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eric, welcome to the off-road game. Jump on in. I got more to tell you. I brought you here to give you your official game 2024. This year's game is going to be more awesome, bigger, and better than ever thanks to you with another YouTuber that does not do off-roading. So you and your team are coming out to Sand Hollow and you are going to be spotting your teammate at the same court. We did the record games on last year, which is Double Triple Sammy. It's a rated 8 trail and it is not for the faint of heart. So there's going to be four checkpoints along the trail where you and your teammate will be participating in some sort of a challenge of speed, skill, knowledge, and agility. Don't worry, you don't need to bring anything, it will be provided for you, and your job is to have fun and entertain the crowds. We're going to have probably 10,000 people there this year. Are you not entertained? We can't wait to see you, your off-road rig, and your new teammate in March. Teammates will be disclosed at a later date in the future, and I will not accept any sort of bribery to get you with a special team. I think we bring cheese curds. Well, it looks like we're going to Sand Hollow again for Matt's off-road games, March 14th, 15th, and 16th. I don't know what we'll be driving, but we're gonna be there. We got a problem. <laughs> I don't know if it's a problem. It's just an issue that needs a solution. What are well, you going to take to the record games? That's what I'm saying is, <laughs> is we don't have anything together yet. So I'm thinking I don't really want to haul out there. I don't want to haul the wrecker out there right. and have somebody else drive that. Yeah. Um, I'm, thinking we, uh, I'm thinking we call Gabe and see if he's got something that we can beg, borrow, or steal. Oh, dude, I know he's got, he, I know he's got some one tons that he was going to put on his, I think, Colorado. And I know he and Lindsay had just picked up a YJ not that long ago and were maybe building it for Will or her. I think it's worth a call to him to see what he's got. If he doesn't have that, find something else. I think yeah. that could be fun. I, and it's already out in Vegas. And that'd be a kind of quick, fun build. Yeah, so I think when we call Gabe and see what he can build for us and fly out. Ooh, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. That could be a ton of fun. And if we have something built out there and is out there, when we go back for other stuff, there's another Jeep out there. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, let's, let's call him. Okay. All right. Hey. Hey, Eric, how you doing, man? Good. How are you? I'm yeah, pretty good. All right. Well, we just watched the video uh, from Matt uh, um, yeah. about the uh, off-road games. And apparently what we're doing is we're bringing a vehicle and having somebody else drive it, and we're going to be spotting. But we don't have a vehicle to bring. So... We're thinking uh, maybe you got something we can uh, work with. I've got a I've got an old Jeep YJ sitting here. That, uh, probably do the trick. I think just about anybody can drive it. It's actually an automatic. Perfect, perfect. Um, that'd be great. Uh, can I see it? Yeah, let me let me flip you around here. And, uh, show show you show you what I'm sitting on. Okay. So, it had some fender flares on it. They were broken and horrible. Um, okay. Like a little square headlight YJ. Yeah. I put, some, I put some seats and a steering wheel in it. So, not that you can really see. Oh, there we go. I can see it. Yeah. And uh, a seat that 
Well, it fits me a little better because I'm not a small human. Right. <laughs> so having a steering wheel that my knees are on <laughs> wasn't very comfortable. So I put a different steering wheel in it, put some seats in it. Uh, I've got some other parts stashed away that I was going to use on my JK, but I think they'll graft over onto this, all right? Think so? Okay. Well, that'd be great. Um, yeah, I suppose uh, we're going to have to pay you for this, but that's uh, that's for another day. <laughs> well, life's all about horse trading, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds. Uh, yeah, what do we got? Five weeks? Six weeks? Yeah. Do you think you can have it done by then? Oh, man, that's going to be a race. Well, it'll be untested. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It'll be untested, but hey, that's what the fun is, right? Yeah, I figure why not. And they're they're gonna be out at San Pablo. Yeah. So we can fly yeah, into so Vegas, pick up the Jeep, and uh head to San Hollow. Yeah, I I got some work to do. Yes. But, <laughs> you think we can do it? Besides some parts, I think we can do it. All right. Sounds like a pull. I better get to work. Yes. <laughs> better stop standing out here enjoying the sun and get in the garage and play dormant for the next six weeks and build a Jeep that can go up Sand Mountain. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> All right. I think right. that. I think. Are there requirements for the Jeep. I mean, um. Just a Jeep. Yeah, just some axles that'll hold up. And uh, um, we got a, is it carbureted or fuel injected? It is carbureted. Oh, we're going to have to get some fuel injection for that. Fuel injection would probably help in a big way. Yes. I mean, it does run pretty good. Okay. Um, but it is carbureted. All right. We'll get some fuel injection for it. Um, you got some axles for it? Okay. All right. Yeah, I got some axles and some tires sitting around. Um, a couple of random other parts. I think we can make it go up the mountain. Okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully we can put it all together. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Gabe. All right, guys. We'll chat soon. Yep. So now we got to figure out how we're going to pay for this build. This is getting awful expensive for us. <laughs> I mean, we got your shirts that we're setting up for Blondie. Yeah. Um, what do you say we sell a sponsorship for the Jeep build and uh, they can get a shirt? and they can get a card to the wrecker and submit to put their name on the Jeep. That sounds like a very interesting, yeah. So I think we have some exciting news. Go to our website, click on the supporter link and support the build out in Vegas for the off-road games, March 14th, 15th, 16th. So don't forget to check out Matt's website for the off-road games. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, and maybe we'll see you in Sand Hollow. Boy, if this keeps up, we're going to have to buy a house out there.